Okay, so this is the first episode of my life story. This is gonna be episode one, infancy. Alright, so I was born in 2005. Um, in a hospital, obviously. <laughs> in a hospital, obviously. Okay, so basically, they tried to deliver me normally, but they were unsuccessful because I was like, I think, too big. So they, uh, <laughs> so they tried to, I mean, they tried to suction me to get me out to, you know, to get me in the world, but it didn't work like suction me. They actually are suction me three times. Yeah, three times. So they like try to suction me once, boom. And then they suction me twice, boom. Didn't work. They suction me three times and I, I, I just can't get out. So they had to C-section me. Do a C-section on me to like get me out. But the delivery was too late. Yeah, so the delivery <laughs> was too late. And I almost died because I had no oxygen in my body, especially my my brain. Um, so they had to call a code pink, which is like you know, they have to like revive me somehow, somehow revive me. And they were successful. Yeah, I'm alive. See, hi, hello. Uh, <laughs> after that, I had to um, you know, stay in the ICU very long. Hours, I'm telling you, bro. Hours in the ICU. It was tough. Obviously, I was a baby, <laughs> so I don't, I don't like, I don't remember this, but I got all of this information from my parents, <laughs> and I'm telling you my life story. Anyways, this is infancy, so I'm just gonna talk about until I'm just gonna talk about my life until childhood. All right. So, anyways, after that, they said, "Oh yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna be okay, okay, like normal baby, fully functioning, no motor problems, you know." So, I was gonna be okay. So after six months, um, my parents observed me for a while, and apparently, my motor skills. <laughs> We're not good. I was dragging my feet. I was crawling very weirdly. I can't even turn or roll over or do a barrel roll or something like that. I can't do that. <laughs> so, so they took me to the pe the pediatrician. Like, and that's where they took me to um, Sick Kids, uh, which is the hospital in Toronto. So I've so I was a patient, a frequent patient, proud patient of Sick Kids Hospital. I was there visiting for one year. <laughs> one year. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. One year of, of MRI, CT scans, blood works. And the blood works were not like, oh, you know, once a month, two a month. Weekly. Weekly. <laughs> And that was tough. That was tough. So after, you know, one year of straight hustling and um, my MRI CT scans came back and the doctor told me that my left side of my brain, because the left side controls the right side. So the left side of my brain is um, dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Fully dead. Like, they did, it's just not functioning, like, at all. At all. So, I mean, so yeah, so my left side of my brain wasn't working at all. <laughs> That made sense for my motor skills on my right side to be limited, weak, whatever you want to call it. So that's where I got diagnosed um, with cerebral palsy. Although with like with this, 
severe, uh, in most severe cases, cerebral palsy can affect your speech. So, the 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 doctor wasn't like, um, the doctor said, uh, it will be a miracle if I can talk at all, <laughs> like at all, talk like hi, how are you? I can't even do that. I was doubted. I was doubted to speak at all. Because my creative side of my brain, like my artistic side, even now I can't do art. Like, I'm not an artist at all. But my creative side of my brain was botched. I, I like my my literate side was botched. I can't speak, and I'm not artistic. So, <laughs> that's well, that's um where. So everything was botched. So yeah, they said it will be a miracle if I can speak. So my parents took the duty to uh, intense train me to speak different languages during my lifetime. But I will be um, I will be telling you that in my childhood episode two video. So. This is only infancy. So where are there? Cerebral policy. I was diagnosed. I can't speak. Blah blah. blah. No, no. All right. So yeah. So that's where. Huh. Uh... Hmm. My parents lost confidence a bit. But they didn't, they didn't give up to make me feel at least capable of, you know, living in society. <laughs> like, um, oh, another thing is, they said I cannot even walk at all. <laughs> uh, in contrast, like. After like the speaking, I can't speak. They said I, I, I can't walk at all. Like I can't like physically walk, like normal walking. I, I can't walk or run, I can't do anything. So yeah, my motor, like they said, if everything's okay, it depends on the severity of my condition. Hope I mean, they, they didn't know it was mild back then. They thought it was like severe, severe. Because of like the description the doctors were telling them, but um, yeah, they said I can't walk too. <laughs> so, so I think this is where I think I think the tradition uh, started where you went to. Uh... Um, no, that's childhood. No, that's childhood. Anyways, that's childhood. So, that's infancy. Uh, so, that's it. I will be talking about cerebral palsy in a different video. It's gonna be, you know, talking about, like, the condition itself. Uh, my epilepsy will be coming later in my lifetime. So, I never got my first seizure. My epileptic seizure until i was four years old so yeah so that's childhood okay so yeah so yeah they they lost hope <laughs> but they didn't lose hope <laughs> like they like even though like i was set to be non like <laughs> i can't speak at all i can't walk um, they still taught me how to walk, how to speak. Um, all uh, and my speech therapist, I think speech or psychiatrist, psychologist said, um, um, teach him different languages because that will stimulate the left side of my brain to be creative. My my creative side of my brain, so like they can like uh, so obviously I can speak two languages and stimulate my brain. To like revive again, I, I, I guess. So, yeah. So, 
that's where they started the intense training of training me to you know become become a human <laughs> anyways all right for a quick recap i have the recap here um i was unsuccessful <laughs> normal delivery i was suctioned three times that didn't work um so i had to like do a c-section uh when they did the c-section i didn't have any oxygen in my brain <laughs> or anywhere so they have to like revive me somehow i don't know how they revived me i don't know like cpr or something I don't know. but they have to revive me some way somehow i have to be alive Ooh. <laughs> So, and then after that, I recovered in the ICU because of that. Oh, and also Saitan. Um, I ate feces <laughs> too. Because I was a kid, I don't like, you know, when you see something, you'll grab it, you'll eat it, whatever, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I stayed in the ICU. And then. I was expected to be okay. I was like, oh, wow, well, yeah. Uh, your carrot is going to be um, fully functioning. No, I'm not fully functioning. <laughs> After I got diagnosed with cerebral palsy. But they didn't know back then because I was just born. They didn't know I was, you know, physically able. Uh, physically uh, impaired. I don't want to say disabled because it's such a negative term. Disabled. Ooh. Like, people say differently able to. I mean, yeah, that's more positive. Or impairment. To not seem like, oh, you know, it's it's severe. <laughs> Anyways. After six months, um, uh, my parents observed that I had motor problems. Uh, that's where I started to go to sick kids, the hospital, for one year. Um... <laughs> That was tough, like going to Toronto every day, every day, doing blood works weekly, MRI scans, CD scans, and then after that whole, ooh, after that whole thing, um, I was diagnosed with my first uh, disorder, cerebral palsy. All right, guys. This is infancy. Um, <laughs> this is if infancy. I will be talking about cerebral palsy next, like the disability itself. Uh, next episode and um, next episode. This is. Well, I mean, this is like life story. Uh, no, this. this uh, the thing is going to be all about just it's it's not part of the life story so it's not gonna be part of the series but it's just a separate video about cerebral palsy anyways that's my infancy story um see you um next episode on uh childhood um like subscribe share do whatever <laughs> you want anyways um yeah bye